Hi guys, you're probably wondering why I call you guys all the time because in the Filipino language there's a word called gaya gaya. So, hindi naman bago yung mga ginagawa ko no because everybody is doing vlogging, everybody is doing things around the house, everybody's painting something, a furniture, just like what I did earlier. Today, I'm gonna do, do a gaya gaya, guys. It's Christmas and the tradition during Christmas is to make cookies. And there's a thing called crinkles. So before we do anything, gawa muna tayo ng pampabango ng kitchen, no? Kasi, uh, para maganda yung ambience natin ba? I'm going to put an aroma because it's going to be an activity. Making cookies. So I'll show you exactly how I prep. By the way, uh, this is a small, uh, it's like an essence, like a mister. This is from doTERRA and a friend of mine distribute these. So I'll try, I don't know if she still sells them, but I'll try to see, I'll try to ask if she still does, and if she does, I'm going to add it to the description below how to order from her. But doTERRA is an amazing, it's not sponsored by doTERRA by the way. My friend just happened to give me one of these and it gave it to me when I gave birth with, uh, with Celestia and Lyra. And she turned this on, she put like an amazing, I think it was like a, a, a lavender at the hospital and it just calms me down so we're gonna try to have a mist it just plugs mahanap ko lang yung plug no gulo ng bahay ko okay i think it's on no masang ka na Yawn, my lights tired you die. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's kinda like that. My mist shot. Lagyan muna natin ito. Galing to din sa kanya eh. Okay. I think this is the... It's a fruity flavor, or like a grassy. I think it's a it's lemongrass. But she used um, when she gave me these, she used a different jar. So I like to put a lot of it. Kasi andito tayo ng mga thirty minutes to an hour. The ingredients are very simple. I. So we gotta clean this first. I like to have a clean surface when you're working, even though it doesn't go into the counter. By the way, I think it's about 3 a.m. in the morning. This is what I do when my family is asleep. Sometimes I do random things like painting furniture at night. <laughs> because it's the only time that nobody is bothering me. The baby's asleep. Okay. I think we got it. I like this by the way. I use this to wash dishes and 
I learned this from my adopted mom. She, well, I have my, my real mom is still here, but I have an adopted mama. She used this in her kitchen and it cleans really well. And it, I think it's more efficient than regular dishwashing soap. Cause look, this one is like less than two weeks. And if you're not careful, you go half. Like already half. This is less than two weeks. But this is not even a quarter. And this is already like from two weeks ago. Filipino talaga ba no? Hanggasan pa yung paper towel. I'm going to show you how to make Christmas crinkles. It's really not a long pro like a it's a very quick process, but hello. I drowned my cup, my uh, succulent. They don't like wet feet. This is actually my friend. Um, she left it in my car one day and I never returned it to her. I should give it back. I think it's called Jade jade plant anybody you can tell me what this is i think it's a jade plant bihis muna na tayo ng t-shirt kasi ito yung ginawa kong pang construction kanina day. kaya I'll be right back we're back hi guys so we are back I just need to take off the burloi continue to wash and clean the sink just in case you have to have a clean sink so when you're cooking and you have to put something in the sink you know you, you could just rinse or clean it up a little bit or it just makes it easier for everybody okay. by the way I'm a big fan of this silicone trainer for the thing because I can put it in the dishwasher app. We already cleaned the sink but I still like to make sure I got everything so I put I spray it with this is actually just 70% alcohol Just make sure, sanitize your area. And the reason why I use alcohol is because it evaporates faster and sometimes the chlorine, you could use bleach, but if you want to use your counter immediately, you know, sometimes it's much easier to just use alcohol. Another thing, a quick tip if you use alcohol on glass it actually does not leave us as like the marks so you might you might want to try that okay so first I am going to alcohol my hands here are your ingredients okay I'm grabbing as I go I got 
cocoa powder and I have I'm going to try to make four batches I hope it fits I don't have any bowl my aunt and I got this pasta bowl but hopefully I'm going to use this to chill in the fridge and mix over here I actually have a bigger bowl mixer but I'm not so sure how much you know what I'm just gonna go get it I'll be right back I am back so the difference between this bowl mixer in comparison to my other bowl mixer is this <laughs> don't ask me where I can get these because my husband got it for me from one of the old store where he used to work from a long long time ago but um, I'll try to ask him where he got it but I think you can find this at a restaurant depot or like a kitchen store a big huge kitchen store I really don't know where to get this but I'm gonna try to research something similar and leave a I really I don't even know how big this is it's like a in the Philippines we call this plangana like a plangana guys like a basin oh yeah that's another thing if you, you don't have this you could just use like before I had this I used a big pot as a mixer, big huge pot. banana bread using this too banana cake So let's go back to our ingredients. So we have the cocoa powder. We also have a white sugar. Let me see if I can move things around so I can put the ingredients together a little better. Let's see it. I'll just put this in the sink. So any granulated white sugar work. And then I got a cooking oil, but I have I have the vegetable oil. It's from Crisco. You can use any vegetable oil. And then I have eggs. So a friend of mine, my adopted mom's daughter. Well, my, she said that this is how our family looks. 
because we are a mixture of different culture. I'm Filipina, but I have Spaniard heritage, Japanese and Chinese heritage. So, but this is how our family looks. White, brown, black, it doesn't matter, but this is our heritage and we embrace everybody. Seriously, no joke. Our family is a mixture with all kinds of different race. So it's kind of an amazing thing. When you gather, you have different food, different opinions, different culture. Um, you have to have your flour. I have vanilla here, but they, so somebody, like a friend, and a friend gave me this, but this is what pure vanilla looks like, the white vanilla. And she got this from Mexico when she traveled. I'm not sure if you can buy this here, honestly, but any pure vanilla, like there's two different kinds of vanilla, I think. There's that caramel color vanilla. They have different smell, actually. This one is a little bit more sweeter, more potent vanilla. Like it tastes like that vanilla bean. And then this one is like more uh, kind of chocolatey. Like it's hard to explain. Like it has like a chocolate. It smells like chocolate to me, like a caramel. Okay. You're going to see me use a lot of paper towels, but that's all right. And then you have to have your salt, your baking powder. I'll just pile this here. And what else? Salt, baking powder, and your confectioner sugar. Now, how in the world <laughs> I'm gonna fit this in my tiny little counter? Oh, I forgot. My doTERRA friend needs to. I don't know if you could see it, but it has like a little tiny mist. Mm, smells so good. Okay. So I'm gonna make uh, one batch. It, I actually got this from this recipe from allrecipes.com. I think allrecipe.com, allrecipes.com. But I'm going to add the link on this uh, particular ingredients list. I will put the ingredients list, but I will also add a link because I'm not sure if they have the video. But um, this is where I got this particular recipe, this specific recipe. Okay, so you have to have your sifter. These are the equipment that you need. You have to have your sifter, your measuring cup. I think this is one cup. And then you have to have your measuring spoon or you can just use a regular spoon I just use a regular spoon but I can find my measuring spoon that would be great but I never do there's so much equipment in this house for cooking and I don't use all of it like like this, this is, this looks like a, a baton or an arnis, but this is actually my dough roller and my husband made me these. Find my measuring cup, measuring spoons. Anybody have an opinion how to arrange your 
kitchen drawers a little better than what I have right now, which is this is what it looks like. Let me know. I used to have you have any opinions and hacks that you you could share, let me know. Okay, I found them. So, in one batch, you're supposed to have one cup of uh, cocoa powder, um, two cups of white sugar, one half cup of vegetable oil, four cups of, uh, no, sorry, four eggs. Um, you need to have two tablespoons of vanilla, uh, two cups of flour. I think that was two cups of flour. Uh, two tablespoons of baking powder, salt, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, and uh, the confectioner sugar. But let me double check the ingredients before I, we move forward. Okay. So, so it's not messy. I move the ingredients here. It says organization is the key, but I did not come prepared. If there was a battle, I have already lost. I'm kidding. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, you can mix. It's called the the liquid batter, and that's actually your oil, your sugar, and the cocoa powder. The cocoa powder. Actually, it's, this brand is amazing. If Hershey's can send me like a box of these a week, I would make crinkles all the time. It might not be the healthiest way to live, but you know. Once upon a time, I had my apron somewhere in here. Okay, so you need a cup of cocoa powder. The best way to, to get, um, I have a small spatula and it bends. Look how old that thing is. But it bends. And to me, it is the best way to get like powders. Just kind of. You're going to make a mess, but that's okay. Maybe do this. So I'm going to make a total of three batches. So instead of one cup of cocoa powder, I'm going to make I'm going to put three, but you literally just need one cup if you're making a batch, but I'm making Christmas crinkles to distribute to friends and family, so I need a lot of cocoa powder. Maybe I just need a whole box, like a whole container. But I wanted to make sure, so I bought two today. Yeah.
I don't know. Maybe we should make four batches. What do you think? Okay. So that's three. I'll just make four or five. What? Well, let's see how, how many batches this one container makes. Oh, it makes five. The whole whole container makes five batches. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. So because this is five batches instead of two cups. Of white sugar we need 10 honestly I don't know if I have 10 here using the same measuring cup just pour So you can keep track of how much you have. You can try to put them in areas like this. Two. have all the sugar that we need guys but I I guess that might not be a bad thing I'll see if I have more oh sugar Yep, we don't have enough. Let's see. Okay, I found another bag. We may have we may have enough. Perhaps. Okay, we're half a cup short, but I think that's good. I don't have any more sugar. Okay, so five cups of cocoa powder, ten cups of white sugar and then you have to have one cup of vegetable oil i'm sorry half a cup of vegetable oil per batch so we're gonna need two and a half cups if i can find my half a cup measurement so this is a half a cup measuring cup so we're going to 
see if I okay. Quick tip, if you're trying to be healthy and you want it to alternate, like to use olive oil, don't. Do yourself a favor, it will not taste the same. And it will actually mess up. It will mess up the taste, like how it cooks. Okay, so you just have to mix. Honestly, it says that you have to separately, um, you have to mix the eggs and the vanilla and then add it here. But I don't do that. I just kind of crack the eggs and put it here. So you need four eggs per batch. This is going to be a lot. <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough eggs. So four eggs times five. I need 20 eggs. Let's see. So I have, I think I do. Oh, by the way, the reason you won't be able to buy these in the store like this these are from our farm from our family farm so they really come to like when you buy brown eggs oh great that's brown egg but it's really comes to the type of chicken just because it's brown it doesn't mean it's organic it's the type of chicken that ha that these eggs come from so bard rock i don't know but some of like once upon a time i know which you can lace brown eggs but anyway we are going to add in you just have to make sure that you mix as much as you can i'm kind of doing my own like ways of do, of making these because on the recipe it says you have to make you have to uh, add the vanilla and the eggs and you know mix it but I'll show you what I do I make a critter start cracking the egg so you would want to grab a bowl when you do this especially if you're dealing with farm eggs because they, they oh no it fell small counter wait a minute
okay and the reason why you want to get a bowl it's because in case the egg is not a good egg like this <laughs> it's not the egg that you want to use it's boiled <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. So this is a batch of boiled eggs here. <laughs> that was fun. We don't throw these away, by the way. We, I'm gonna just put this here for now. But we don't throw eggshells. We actually throw them in the garden because things like slugs don't like them. And it protects your garden and it gives your garden good nutrients. So we need 20 eggs. Almost dropped it. Also, look at that egg. It's green. It's like an Easter egg. But it's the same inside, you know, there's no difference. An egg is an egg and an egg, egg is just a, an egg. <laughs> I need six more eggs. I got more. I want to show you guys something. This is what a farm egg looks like. You have like a green, white, brown, yellowish, darker. Uh, it's like almost like dark brown and we have white so same goes in God's kingdom everyone the same on the outside but for God we are all his children it does not matter what you do where you come from that's 20 eggs I wish I could show you closer but Unfortunately, I don't, I can't move that. Okay, so now we have to have uh, two teaspoons of vanilla per batch. So we need a total of 10 teaspoons of vanilla. 
so that's a tablespoon that's a teaspoon I'm going to use the real vanilla for this not the imitation one because this is a lot of work and too special so might as well use the real thing but this is what it looks like guys the difference okay okay we need 10 Okay, we have 10. And then you just mix. This is my cheat, is mixing it in the middle of the batter. The reason why I don't use an egg egg beater it's because you don't want this to foam so you just have to be patient you don't want it to foam Try to go just one direction. Let's see if I can move you closer. When you once you have a decent like all of the yellow is mixed in I mean it's okay to have a little bit of the mixture like the the this mixture mixed into the liquid because you're gonna have to mix it eventually anyway but okay I think I got it all then just have to work bring start bringing the powders in If you're wondering why I haven't put the salt and the baking powder, I'll show you later. The sifter is not for my flour. Although, so once you've got most of it mixed in but not completely mixed in yet like you still see a little bit of chunks then you can start adding your baking powder and the salt so we need two teaspoons of baking powder per batch 
So we're gonna have that is actually one two. Okay, so this is one. That's two teaspoons, by the way, guys. What I'm dropping. So I need. teaspoon of salt the salt I know that there's a better way to do this like a lot of people prep their measurements ahead to just for today we're doing it this way because we decided to do from you know three batches to five batches this and the reason why I do that is because my baking powder is chunky evenly distributed um, baking powder so you cannot have chunks of baking powder in there ready It's very thick so now while that's sitting we're going to sift you don't have to sift like I said this one is not intended for my flour but I'm gonna try to sift it just so I can just dump the whole thing in there so we need about 10 cups of flour so let's see if we can get 10 cups out of this very relaxing
you actually see the batter starting to bubble that's what you want to have That's six cups. I'm just gonna put it in one place. And I'll show you why. We can. We have four more to go. I'm telling you like actually making batches and batches of anything like big batches of banana cake could get really challenging all right so I'll move you I'll show you how and why I put it in the corner because you want to do and do mix it slow slowly so you just mix the batter from underneath and just let it i'm using the same spatula by the way when i measure you don't need a whole lot of equipment to do this A lot of work, you know. Thank you for staying with me and watching this. I really hope that this helps everybody. If you have any recipe for Christmas that's easy to make, share it. Don't keep it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I really have to start making um, a cookbook like a family recipe cookbook you know because there's so much recipe I'm learning from my mother-in-law and from my daughters Nana my grandma that are if you don't write it down it's gonna be lost you know so I really encourage everybody to do that. If you have any family recipe, write it down. It doesn't have to be fancy in a book or something. It could be just a paper. You don't wanna fast mix this, honestly. You wanna slowly add 
the flour in. It's a lot of work. It's also really good. Look at it. Mmm. Yummy. Except you can't eat it like this. It's not a pancake that you can just put in a pan. <laughs> you have to chill this, by the way, for four hours before you can bake it. Otherwise, you won't get that crack, crack, you know, the crinkle. Part of the cookie. You won't get it if you don't chill it. Tabang oi, tabang. Tabang means help. But there's nobody here to help me. Everybody's asleep. It's four in the morning. But I can't do this during the day because Celeste Ann wants my attention. Don't give up. I was going to do a Facebook Live and show this to everyone. But I feel, I just had a feeling that I have to edit some parts of it. Like me running around and gathering things. I can fast forward that by quick edit. I mean, I don't think I did a whole lot of running around, but I really didn't expect to make this big of a batch today. There's nobody else to blame but me. So you're going to start having this consistency like it won't, you know. If you notice, there's no water added on this one. Your water is your eggs and the oil. So yeah, there's a lot of sugar in this one, oil, but there's also a lot of eggs. Seriously, there's 20 eggs on this guys. So kind of a compromise. This is a questionably healthy cookie. So just pray for that God squeezes the calorie. <laughs> that wouldn't work. But this is so worth it to make. It's easy to make. I'm going to make a small batch version of this, but if you want to make this for a lot of people as a present, it's an inexpensive way to spend, you know, money on Christmas, but there's also a lot of love because I mean, crinkles is expensive to buy from the store. And it wouldn't taste as good if you just buy it from the store. Store-bought, have nothing against store-bought stuff. But I just like, if I can help it. Oh, this is getting really hard to mix. Okay. Now move you back. Okay. 
So this is the consistency of this. I did not change my spatula. This spatula is really helpful if you don't have this kind. Actually, you can just buy this on Amazon, something similar. It's stiff on the this part, the, the first half, and then it bends on the other half, you know? But if you don't have this, I mean, regular spoon probably do. All right. I think we got it. All right. So I'm going to try to see if I can find room in my fridge. First, I have to do a switcheroo. There's so much stuff in this fridge. Hi, Mako. Okay. We just clean up a little bit. There's really not a whole lot of mess making this. If you're careful. I mean, I'll show you. There's really not, there's not a whole lot of mess. So it's not a very high, uh, messy type of, or maybe it's just my system, but honestly, I don't think it's messy. You just have to have a really big pan Like understanding the steps of how you make this helps, you know. Okay, so if you notice, this is like getting really, really sticky. So be we would like to chill this in the fridge. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in this bowl, the spaghetti bowl. Honestly, I don't think it will fit, but Let's try it. I mean, this whole pan, the, this big bowl is not gonna fit in my fridge. That's for sure. Oh gosh. Nope. 
need another helper. A rice spatula. <laughs> Sarap nito guys. Dami na kaya nitong crinkles magawa. Tingnan natin kung ilan. Pero malalaman natin yan bukas kasi alas, alas 4.30 na. Uy. fit siya. I think it will all fit here. Which is surprising. Iloko na ito ni Kay. Kapoy buhat. Okay. Uy, ayaw tao ayaw tao nag buhot busok niya kay wala. Ayaw in town o ka yabu. Alad, awa siya uy. Nga nun ni siya. Ganyan siya. Ganyan magawa ng ano? Crinkles. Pero busin natin, kunin natin lahat yan kasi sayang ba? Sayang ba? Hirap po mo pa naman gawin.
Itong cream course din yan, oh. Hmm. Yan. Okay, everybody. So, thank you for watching me make this crinkles. I hope this helps all of you. I'm going to chill this whole batch of batter, but this is how much it makes. This is like five batches. I'm going to chill it, and then tomorrow I'm going to start making rolls and then pop them in the oven so i'm going to sleep now it's 5 4 41 a.m like seriously i'm still i'm making this video at night